Hello everybody, welcome to Classic Education YouTube channel. I am Mahesh Pundibij, a faculty member for UPSC aspirants as well as per banking aspirants. So today we will discuss some of the easy uh, questions that come in our banking examinations. Right? So right now we are presently uh, having uh, SBI examination. So there are some uh, simple questions that are definitely asked every year okay whenever uh, we get SBI examination or any of the IBPS banking examination then definitely there are some questions which are very easy right and sometimes what happens when those questions are easy we solve those questions by equation method right and uh, we lose our time there okay lots of lots of uh, uh, time wastage we do there. So today we will discuss those simple questions which can be done okay in 5 seconds okay in just 5 seconds 10 seconds or within that before that right. So that includes the uh, ratio type of questions in ages okay. So I have taken some questions here we will discuss some of the questions which are uh, simple one okay but which have come in your examination but they take some time if you solve it by equation method by considering x okay so it takes time now here i have taken one question okay so this question has come in your sbi exam only right so we are discussing sbi previous year questions right so what he is telling me that four years ago okay four years ago the ratio of a's age to b's age was 11 is to 14 okay so the age ratio is been given to me it is nothing but 11 is to 14 and four years later their age will be in the ratio 13 is to 16 the present age of a is now normally how we solve this question right how we solve this question now see here before i tell you how to solve it by basic method how to solve it within five seconds first one important instruction i will give you regarding ages so this is basic we should know this okay that is first thing the age difference between any two persons is going to remain constant it will be same if it is 10 years later or if the okay if it is 10 years before 5 years 5 years later okay so always the age difference between any two persons is going to remain same right so suppose if the age difference between me and my friend okay is 3 years okay so it is going to remain 3 years okay constantly right if my age is increasing then even his age is also going to increase right so that is the reason okay the ages are constant right this is one thing now second thing you observe here okay in this particular question what has been given to me let us say that this is the present age okay so here it is i am talking about the present age so this is present age okay and here above this okay i will write the past age okay past age means let us say for example 10 years ago okay 10 years ago his age was this much or 10 years ago the age ratio was this much okay so whenever this type of statements are given so he is talking about the past okay so here I will write the past age okay that person's past age see if from the present age okay from the present age when I am moving towards the past age okay from present age when I am moving to the past age then what will happen the age will decrease now for example if my present age is 28 years if my present age is 28 years and if I ask you what was my age 8 years ago that means when I say 8 years ago that means I am moving in the past and from the present when I am moving in the past then what is going to happen my age will decrease right so 28 years is my present age 8 years ago so how much the age was so from 28 you will subtract 8 years and it will come out to be 20 so what has basically happened here my age decreased when I moved from my present age to past age right so the same thing 
when I move from a present age to past age, so what will happen here is the age will decrease, the age will decrease or we subtract the age, okay. What we do? We subtract the age, right. So now, suppose and here I will take my future age, okay. So here I will take the future age, okay. So age after certain years. Now for example, Okay, now for example, if my present age is 28 years and if I ask you what will be my age 5 years hence, 5 years hence, okay, or what will be my age 5 years later. So, whenever I talk about this, then I am moving ahead, I am moving in the future. So, in this case, what will happen? The age will increase, the age will increase, right. So, basically, when you move or in simple words, if I want to tell you now, you see this is okay, this is the past age and here is the present age and here is the future age. So now in simple words, if I want to tell you, then see if I am moving from past, okay, if I am moving from the past towards the future, if I am moving from the past towards the future, then what will happen in this case, the age will increase, the age will increase increase okay the age will increase and if the same thing okay if the same thing if I am moving just now I told you here if I am moving from the future okay if I am moving from the future to the past okay from future if I am moving towards the past then what will happen the age the age will decrease okay the age will decrease okay or simply here you can say that the age will be added okay so we do the addition of ages here okay when i move from the past towards the future and from future towards the past when i move then what will happen the age will decreased or we subtract the age okay so this is the basic thing okay so this will be my representation while using okay while using the while solving the problems this will be my representation always in the middle i will keep the present age Okay, upside I will keep the past age and below I will keep the future age. So, in the future what his age will be, right? Okay. Now, usually here also you can see this statement, okay, but just see here. Now, when I talk about this statement, okay, let me give you an example, okay. When I say that 5 years ago, okay, 5 years ago, okay, the age, the age ratio okay the age ratio was 7 is to 5 okay 7 is to 5 and then he tells me that 10 years later 10 years later or he can tell you 10 years okay hence okay 10 years later okay 10 years later the age ratio okay the age ratio is okay 12 is to 7 10 years later the age ratio is 10 is to 7. Now when this type of statements are given, what mistake usually students do, okay. So later I will explain this particular problem in detail, we will discuss about the problems in detail, don't worry about that. But presently you try to understand what I am, what the point I am telling you. Whenever this type of statements are given in the question, then the students they usually misunderstand it. How they misunderstand? Just listen to me. Now. Let us say that here is the present age, okay. Let us say that here is the present age. So, what he is telling me that 5 years ago, okay, 5 years ago, ago means he is talking about the past. That means from here he is talking about 5 years, right. So, this is the present age, right. This is the present age and here this is the past age, okay. This is the past age. So, from present he is moving towards the past 5 years ago. So, here the age ratio was 7 is to, okay, here the age ratio was 7 is to 5. So, here it was 7 is to 5, right. So, 10 years later, the age ratio is 12 is to 7, okay. So, what students do the mistake here is, from here, okay, so from here, from here, they take it as 10 years that is from here they take it as 10 years and from here after 10 years it will become 12 is to 
7. Okay, that means from here to here it is 10 years. That means already this is 5 years. So here it will become 5 years. Right, so they take it in this way, which is absolutely wrong. Okay, so this is absolutely wrong. Try to understand. Okay, so please don't take it in this way. Most of the students, they do mistake here. Right, whenever this type of statements are given to me, okay, that is 5 years ago, the age ratio is 7 is to 5. Okay, 10 years later, the age ratio is 12 is to 7. So, it is not from here. Okay, try to understand, it is not from here. Then what is the correct equation or what is the correct representation? I will tell you. Okay. See, always remember whenever the age ratios are given to me, they are always given to me with respect to present age. Matlab, sometimes he will give you that 4 years ago. Okay, 4 years ago the age ratio is 1 is to 2. Suppose if he is giving you, so 4 years from where? It is the 4 years from the present age only. So always remember this point. And when he has continuously given you, it does not mean that it is from here. So, this 10 years later, the age ratio is 12 is to 7. So, here also, it is 10 years later, 10 years from where? It is from 10 years from the present age. Right? So, always he will be talking about the present age with respect to the present age. Now, what is the correct equation? Just see here. What is the correct equation? See here. 5 years ago, so, this is the present I will take. So, 5 years ago, so here it is 7 is to 5. So, here it is 7 is to 5. So, from here to here, this is 5 years. Okay, it is 5 years. And then he is telling me 10 years later. So, 10 years later means from where? From the present age. From here you have to take 10 years. Try to understand. So, from here you have to take 10 years and here the ratio is 12 is to okay, 7. So, it is 12 is to 7. This is the correct equation. So, always remember, please do not make this mistake. Okay, please do not make this mistake. This is correct equation. Right? And this is wrong. Do not take it from here. Okay? So, always the age ratios which are given to me, they are always given with respect to the present ages. So, I hope you all have got the clear idea. So, these were the basic things that you should know before starting the problems of ages, right? So, most of the students, they might have not gone through ages topic. So, I felt to just revise it once, just to make you understand what are the important points. So, I just revised it, okay? So, now we will move to the questions, okay? Let us move to the questions. Okay, now we will come to the question. Now, we will start solving the questions. Now, what he is telling me, four years ago, the ratio of A's age to B's age was 11 is to 14. Okay? So, now let us say that this is the present age. Okay? So, let us say that this is the present age. Okay? And he is talking about okay, 4 years ago. So, he is talking about 4 years ago. Let us say that after 4 years. So, this is present age. Okay? So, this is present age. So, presently I am writing everything so that you are comfortable. Right. So, once when the things are clear, you will be able to solve the questions directly. Right. From the question itself, okay, you need not to write anything also. Okay. So, here the past age. So, here it will be the past age. So, he is talking about 4 years ago. So, let us say that this distance okay, is of 4 years. Okay. So, let us say that it is 4 years. Okay. So, this is of 4 years. Okay, and the age ratio is how much? The age ratio is 11 is to 14. Okay, 11 is to 14. Fine. And after that, he is telling me, and 4 years later, 4 years later means what students will do? They will take it from here and they will say that 4 years later, the age ratio is 13 is to 16. That means, is he talking about the present age? No, that is what the mistake students do. Just now I told you, right? So, it is not 13 is to 16. It is not that value. So, what I told you, it is always with respect to present age. That means, okay, so 4 years later, so whatever thing he is talking here, okay, 4 years later, he is talking it with respect to, so he is talking it with respect to, he is talking it with respect to the present age, right? So, he is talking it with respect to the present age. So, always 
know these things these are the small things which matter a lot right so now it is from here so he is talking from the present age so this is the present age so from here four years later so here from the four years later that means in simple words you can say he is talking about the future age right he is talking about the future age so here the age ratio will be 13 is to 16 so here the age ratio will be 13 is to 16 right and now he is asked me what is the present age of what is the present age of a so here let us say that this is a and this is b okay this is a and this is b right so he is asking you what is the present age of a so he is talking about this value because this is the present age right so here we write some present ages okay so what is the present age of a so he is asking you this value right so how to solve this question now usually okay usually what we do is what students do what i have observed is they consider okay this as the age and they consider it as x they consider this as x okay so 11x is the age is the real age okay after four years okay that is matlab four years ago and 14x will be the age okay it is again the uh, four years ago age of b okay so now you see if i ask you that from here to here okay let us take some other mark so here from here from present age to future whatever the ratio he has given no if i ask you then what is the uh, difference here how much is this total gap if i ask you then you will say that it is eight years yes or no right so it is eight years four plus four it is eight years that means uh, whatever their ages is present here if i add eight years to this i will get this age yes or no now what students they do is uh, this 13 units is nothing but from here see here if i want to get this age if i know what is the age is is age here then what i will do for 11x okay let us take some okay let us say that his age is 11x and if i add 8 years to it right if i add 8 years to that then i will get this age right so age at this particular point okay so that means it is in the form of ratio so 11x plus 8 because this distance is of 8 years and this if i divide it by 13 okay so it is going to be the this part and this is equals to what here also i have taken it as 14x so 14x plus 8 divided by okay how much is the ratio value here it is 16 so what students will do is they will solve this equation first okay so please correct it here i have written x I, I had not written x so now i have written it as x so 11x plus 8 divided by 13 14x plus 8 divided by 16 they will first solve this equation okay they will first solve this equation they will find the value of x okay they will substitute it here okay and then they will add four years to that age and they will find this value this is the procedure that usually students do and this much time we don't have in the banking examination right so we are not going to follow this method if you want you try it by this method and tell me whether you got the same answer or not okay and you have to tell me in the comment box clear everybody so after solving this equation okay whatever answer now i am going to get which we are going to do it in the exam okay so that answer and this answer uh, whether you are get, getting it same or not that you have to tell me fine so we are not going to do this method in the examination right so this is the explanation that i wanted to give you now how to do this question directly in the exam within five seconds or within 10 seconds okay so that we will understand it now right see here now how we will solve this question see here <coughs> he is telling me that see here listen to me so this is the present age okay so now i am writing but in the exam you need not to write this okay so just for your understanding i am writing this okay so this is the present age okay and after from here he is talking about four years ago so four years ago means this is four years right so four years ago means 
the age ratio is 11 is to 14 right so the it is the, it is the ratio is 11 is to 14 and from the present age he is talking about four years later so four years later the age will be the age ratio will be that means from here again he is talking about four years and here the ratio will be 13 is to 16 okay 13 is to 16 and now he is asking me what is the present age of a let us say that this is a and b this is a this is b this is about a so he is presently asking me this question so what is the present age of this person here Okay, what is the present age of A? This is the question asked. Now listen to me. Directly I am telling you the method. Okay, see here. Listen to me carefully. Okay. Now if I ask you, from here, whatever this ratio is given to me, right? From here to here. Okay, from here to here, in the terms of years. Listen to my question carefully. Okay, from here to here, in the terms of years. How much is the gap? If I ask you from here to here, in the terms of years, how much is the gap? Then you will say that 8 years. Yes or no? 4 plus 4, it is nothing but 8 years. So this distance, okay, this distance is of 8 years, right? So this is of 8 years, okay? This is of 8 years, fine? Right. Now see here, if you look at this properly, right, from here to here, how much is the ratio gap? Just see it. So from 14, it has become 16. That means there is two units of gap, right? This is two units of gap, right? This is two units of gap. And here also you see, here it is 11 and here it is 13. So here also if you check the gap, if you check the difference, if you check the difference of this ratio, here also it is how much? It is two units only. Yes or no? It is two units only. Now, you see whether I am representing it here, okay, this gap, okay, let me put all in the red only. So, whether I am representing this gap, whether I am representing this gap, okay, or whether I am representing this gap. So, all these are representing the same gap, right? Here you see, this is two units, here also it is two units. And in reality, this difference is nothing but 8 years. So, directly what you do is, you take this 2 units is equal to 8 years. You take it as what? 2 units is equal to 8 years, 1 unit value. So, 2 units is 8, then 1 unit will become how much? 4 years. So, 1 unit is equal to 4 years. So, 1 unit value is nothing but 4 years. So, now what you do? you can multiply it to this ratio because he has asked me the present age of A, right? So, present age of A means you multiply it only to the A. So, you multiply it to this 11, okay? So, if you just multiply it to this 11, okay? So, if you just multiply this to 11, then this value will become 44. That means, this is nothing but 44 years, okay? This is nothing but 44 years. Matlab, here, the value okay is nothing but it is 44 years but he has asked me the present age see try to understand four years ago his age was 44 years what will be his present age or in simple you understand from the past when you move towards the future okay then what will happen the age will increase so this gap is of four years so what you do you just add four years to it so, 44 plus 4, how much it will become? It will become 48. So, 48 will be the answer. So, what is the answer? 48 years. So, what is the answer? 48 years. So, the right answer for this question is 48 years. Okay. So, just for your understanding, I have taken time here for the explanation. Okay. So, let us see here. Okay. Let us see this question once again. Okay how to do it in a very fast manner, okay? So, you just remove all the things, okay? Just see here. Four years ago, see here, listen to me, okay? Four years ago, okay, the age ratio is 11 is to 14 and four years later, see, ago and later, what is the gap here? The gap is eight years, right? The gap is eight years. 
and he is talking about this two ratios right 11 is to 14 and 13 is to 16 so first what you do you see the gap of these two values so how much is the gap it is two units and here also you once check sometimes it will be different okay so here also it is 11 and 13 how much is the gap here here also it is 2 if it is 2 if this gap is equal if this gap is equal see what I am trying to tell you here it is 11 is to 14 and here it is 13 is to 16 okay so you see try to understand this gap here this gap is 2 units okay and here also it is 2 units right so this gap should be equal always okay this gap should be equal 2 units and 2 units sir if it is not equal what we have to do I will tell you all the questions I have taken don't worry about it right okay so if it is not equal what you have to do if three parameters are given what we have to do all the things will be explained just listen here so this difference is of two years two units okay and in reality this difference is equals to eight years so how much it will become it will become one unit it will become equal to four years so if you multiply four years to this 11 fours are 44 so 44 is the age four years ago so if you want to come back to the original so plus four you have to do so how much it will become it will become 48 years so this is the answer so this is how you need to solve it right this is how you need to solve it so this difference is two units and this and this is equal right so this is how you need to solve it right so let us say let us take one more question to understand it in a better way let us take one more question okay see here now here I have taken another question the present ages of A and B are in the ratio 5 is to 6 okay so here let us say that this is the present age okay and it is how much it is 5 is to 6 see I will solve it directly okay I will solve it directly then he is telling me after seven years after seven years after seven years means he is moving in the future okay so this is seven years after seven years so this is present age so this should be fixed in your mind that this is present age so when I take it when I write it in the down then it is the future age so these things should be in your mind okay and what he is telling me that after seven years okay this ratio becomes 6 is to 7 this ratio becomes 6 is to 7 now what is our work see here this difference is how much one unit yes or no this difference is how much it is also one unit see both are equal so when both are equal then you see this difference is how much seven units so one unit is equals to seven years so one unit is equals to what seven years so what he has asked me then the present age of a is so if we consider this as a and b okay so 7 5 is a 35 so what will be the answer to so 35 so 35 is the answer present age of a is what it is 35 so very simple right so i hope you all have understood this can we solve this question within five seconds yes definitely we can do it right so i hope you all have understood this question right fine now let us move to the next question okay let us move to the next question okay okay so here now if you see at this particular question the ratio of ages age of a and b at present is 3 is to 1 four years earlier the ratio was 4 is to 1 the present age of a is now see here try to understand what he is telling me the the ratio of ages of a and b okay at present that, that means he is talking about the present age let us say that this is the present age and the age ratio is 3 is to 1 okay the age ratio is 3 is to 1 then he is telling me four years earlier that means four years before that means he is talking about the past age okay so earlier the ratio was 4 is to 1 so the ratio was 4 is to 1 okay so the present age of a is now this is this gap is of how much it is of four years right so this is of four years right so now you just see here what i told you you take the difference between these two values okay if you just take the difference between these two values it will come out to be zero but when you take the difference here it will come out to be one now see what i told you in the previous problem that these two values should be equal these two unit differences should be equal it is not equal here so what we need to do we need to okay 
how to solve this particular type of problem just see here well, i will just tell you see what you do when our unit differences are not same then what you do is you take the difference of this ratio okay you take the difference of this ratio how much it will become it will become 2 and now what you do you take the difference between this two ratio this ratio okay so how much it is it is 3 okay now what you do is uh, this difference you multiply it here okay this difference you multiply it here and this difference this ratios difference you multiply it here clear everybody right so now you multiply this after multiplying what you will get you see 4 twos are it will become 8 right and 2 ones are it will become 2 right and here also you multiply 3 threes are it will become 9 okay and 3 ones are will become how much it will become 3 okay now once when you do this procedure okay you have to forget this ratio okay you have to forget this ratio matlab this ratios is no more concerned to us now whatever remaining part of the question we are going to answer it will be with respect to this ratio only so don't consider this ratio at all now okay so now you see now if you take the difference here then it is one unit yes or no and now you see the difference here here also it is one unit you see now our unit values came out to be equal now you can take one unit is equal to how many years here it is four years so it is equals to four years right it is equals to four years so what he has asked me the present age of a is so this is a and this is b so what you need to do this four into okay so he is talking about the present age right so sorry present age is here right so present age is here so please don't multiply it here so you multiply it here so nine fours are how much it will become it will become 36 right so what is the answer it is going to be 36 so this is the right answer okay so 36 will be the right answer so i hope you all have understood the method now usually uh, in the regular classes whenever i discuss this type of questions in the okay classroom the usually students ask me what they ask me sir even after doing this step okay even after doing this step if we don't get our ratio difference same okay so here i have got one unit and one unit now suppose even after doing this step okay if i am not getting this ratio difference the same then what i have to do right so this is the most frequently asked question to me in the regular classes okay so whenever the students ask me i tell them okay there are two possibilities if even after doing this step okay even after doing this step if you are not getting your unit differences same then there are two possibilities one you may not have multiplied this properly okay we multiply these values right so you might have done some mistake in multiplying these values okay once you cross check it okay and if you have done this step correctly and still if you are not getting the differences here as the same 100 percent i am telling you the question is wrong okay fine okay so this is how you need to solve it fine let us move to the next question okay so here i am having a question okay so four years ago the ratio of ages of a and b was 2 is to 3 so he is talking about four years okay so this is the present age let us say that it is present age and four years ago so four years ago so what he is telling me the age ratio is 2 is to 3 so this is 2 is to 3 right and after that he is telling me okay 2 is to 3 and after four years okay after four years means from here okay it is from again from the present age only so after four years it is how much it is 5 is to 7 okay 5 is to 7 right so find their present ages so that means he is asking us these two values okay so present ages of a and b he is asking us so now you see what you need to do you take the difference between these two ratios so how much is the difference here it is four units right and here you see the difference how much it is it is only three units so the unit differences are not same here see here you are getting the difference as four units right and here 
you are getting the differences as what? You are getting it as 3 units. So it is not same. But in reality, this difference is how, for how many years? It is of 8 years. Right? It is of 8 years. So what we have to do? So I have already told you the method. Take the difference of this. How much is the difference? It is 2. And then what you do? You take the difference of this. How much is the difference? It is 1. So this difference you multiply it here and this difference you multiply it here. Right? And once when you multiply, what I told you? That you have to consider the new ratio. So here it will become how much? It will become 4 is to 3 to the 6. Right? And here if I uh, just take the ratio, it will become 5 is to 7. Okay? It will become 5 is to 7. Now you observe the difference. What I told you, once when you write this new ratio, please don't consider this ratio. Okay, whatever you have written here, please don't consider that. Whatever answer you are going to get, it is from the new ratio itself. Right? Okay. So now you take the difference here. How much is the difference? It is one unit. Okay. And how much is the difference here? Here also it is one unit. So see, what you got? You got your differences as a same here. So directly what you can say that this one unit is equal to how many years? It has been given to me 4 plus 4 that is nothing but 8. So this one unit is equal to 8 years. Right. So <clears throat> now what he has told me. Right. So find their present ages. So what you need to do? You just need to multiply. Okay. You just need to multiply these values here. Okay. So you need to just multiply your values here. So here it will become 48. Right. And so that is 8, 6 is 48. Okay. So 8, 4 is how much it will become? It will become 32. So these are the ages which are 4 years ago. And now he is talking about the present ages. So present ages means here. Here is the present age. So what I need to do is I need to add 4 years to it. So here also I have to add 4 years and here also I have to add 4 years. So here how much it will become? It will become 52. And here if I add, then it will become 36. So 36 and 52 are the present ages of both. And if you look at the options, then it is nothing but it is the option D. So option D is going to be the answer. Right. So I hope you all have understood the concepts. Right. So you all have understood the concept. So this is how you need to do it. Right. So I hope you all have understood this. Fine. Let us move to the next question. Four years ago, the age ratio, see this question we have already solved it. Okay. So this question we have already solved it. Right. The present, okay, the ratio between the present ages of okay r and p is 3 is to 5 and after 6 years this ratio becomes 2 is to 3 so find the present age of priya he has asked me now you see uh, directly we will do it so the age the present age so this is the okay this is the present age okay so this is the present age so between ritu and priya is how much it is nothing but 3 is to 5 and he is telling me that after 6 years that means he is moving in the future so after 6 years the age ratio will be 2 is to 3 okay so if you take the difference here it is 2 units and if you take the difference here it is 1 unit so this difference is how much it is 2 and this difference is 1 so this you multiply it here and this you multiply it here so here it will become 3 is to 5 and here it will become 4 is to 6 right so now if you see the difference here so here the difference is 1 unit and here also the difference is 1 unit. So in both the cases it is 1 units only and this 1 unit is equals to what? It is 6 years. Right? So this difference is nothing but what? It is 6 years. So find the present age of uh, Priya. So present age of Priya is nothing but 6 into 5. So sorry, here. I have to multiply it here. So 6 into 5. How much it will become? It will become 30 years. So 30 years is present here. So which this is the answer. So I hope you can solve this question within 10 seconds. Definitely you can solve it in 10 seconds. Right? Uh, dear students, this is not short tricks. Okay? Let me tell you, this is not shortcut or short tricks. This is the concepts higher level. Try to understand. Okay? So all these are nothing but concepts. Concepts is the thing which can be applied everywhere. Right? So when the ratio difference, see, try to understand. 
when this ratio difference is okay same when it is going to be constant now here it is 6 years right so this difference is of 6 years then definitely when we are checking this ratios the difference also should be same and if it is not same then definitely it will be it can be converted to the same differences right and it is not going to be possible try to understand this it is not going to be possible that here even after doing this step getting our unit differences as a different like one unit and two unit or three unit and four unit it is not possible and if it is going to be given in that way only in the question examination definitely that question will be wrong i hope you all have understood the things right fine so what is the answer for this particular question it is nothing but 30 years right fine now let us move to the okay so here there is another question a good question the same concept can be applied here also right so what he is telling me that a mixture contains milk and honey in the ratio 7 is to 1 okay and on adding 6 liters okay on adding 6 liters of honey okay on adding 6 liters of honey the ratio of milk to honey becomes a 7 is to 2 okay so the quantity of milk in the mixture is so how much quantity of milk is present in the mixture you have to tell now if you read this question properly okay let us say let us take this a mixture contain milk and honey okay let us take this as milk and this as honey okay and uh, what is the ratio he has given me he has told me that it is 7 is to 1 try to understand okay it is 7 is to 1 now he is telling me that on uh, adding 6 liters of honey 6 liters of honey he has added to this he has added 6 liters of honey and after adding this 6 liters of honey okay the ratio of milk and honey becomes a 7 is to 2 so this will become 7 is to 2 now if you look at this properly if you look at this question properly then you see in the question he has clearly mentioned me that only honey is been added only honey is been added milk is not added and one thing you observe that milk contain before whatever before the milk content was now also the milk content will be same only if you if we can remove the pure milk from that milk and honey's mixture then whatever milk quantity initially it was now also the milk quantity is same and here also you see the ratio value has not changed matlab the milk values unit has not changed it is same but only thing is that has changed is honey from one unit it has become two units and from one unit it has become two units there is unit one unit change yes or no there is one unit change from one unit it has become two units there is one unit change and why this one unit change has been happened it is because of addition of this 6 liters of honey so directly can i say that this one unit this one unit is equal to okay 6 liters not years okay it is 6 liters it is 6 liters and what is asking me that the quantity of milk in the mixture so milk is how much here it is 7 so directly you multiply this 7 6 is 42 so 42 is not present in the option so none of this okay so that is nothing but 42 liters 42 liters will be the answer right 42 liters will be that so the same concept i have used it here also right so concepts are not made that this is going to work in only this chapter you can use it anywhere because concept is concept only right okay so i hope you have understood this particular question right so if you want you can take the screenshot of this okay and uh, just what i have done is i have multiplied that 6 i have multiplied it here okay so it will become 42 right so it will become 42 so 42 is not there in the option so none of this is the answer right okay so here <coughs> right here there is another question which had come in banking examination only not in sbi but definitely uh, it will come in sbi once so now here three persons ratio is been given to me 
right? Three percent ratio has been given to me. So what he is telling me the age, uh, the ratio of ages of three boys, okay, Ramesh, Suresh, and Bridesh, okay, uh, five years ago is four is to thirteen is to ten. Also, the ratio of their ages ten years from now, okay. Say, don't get confused. Again, I am telling you. 10 years from now it doesn't means from from here it is 10 years okay so it is with respect to the present age only so that is why i have told this point in the starting itself so this is always with respect to it is always with respect to present age okay please understand this point okay always remember this point okay so it is with respect to present age okay so, it is 3 is to 6 is to 5. What is the ratio of their ages after one year? So, one year Admele or Vyasina Anupata yester daiti and question kertanri. So, he is asking me after one year what will be the age ratio. Now, see here. So, the ratio of the three boys five years ago. So, let us say that this is the present age and five years ago. Okay, so here it is 5 years and 5 years ago it is how much? It is 4 is to 13 is to 10. Okay, 4 is to 13 is to 10. Also the ratio of their ages 10 years from now. That means he is talking from here. Okay, so don't get confused. So it is from present age. So the age ratio is 3 is to 6 is to okay, 5. Okay, 3 is to 6 is to 5. What will be the ratio he has asked me? What will be the ratio of their ages after one year? So, this is the present age. After one year, what will be the ratio? Okay. We will, we will, we will talk about that ratio. But once you see this question. Okay. Once you see here. Okay. Once you take the difference here. If you take the difference, it is 1 unit. Okay. So, here if you take the difference, it is 7 units. Here if you take the difference, it is 5 units differences are different here if all of them had one unit one unit and one unit i am giving you an example just example here if it was one unit one unit and one unit then directly what would i have done one unit is equal to 15 years because this gap is of how much total it is the gap of 15 years so directly one unit is equal to 15 years i would have taken and i would have multiplied it to these values right but it is not same here so in this case what we have to do because in the previous case, I told you if there were only uh, uh, two ratios. So, there I told you to take the difference, take, take the difference of this, this difference you multiply it here, this difference you multiply it here. There I told you. But here there are three parameters. What we have to do? Right? See here. I will tell you the method. Okay? How to solve this particular question? Okay? See here. What you do is, you take the difference between these two ratios. Okay? So, here what is the difference here it is 9 right the difference is 9 okay and here also you take the difference okay and here the difference is 3 fine okay now what you do 9 and 3 you take the LCM what is the LCM 9 itself okay 9 and 3 the difference LCM, LCM of the difference okay so 9 and 3 what is the LCM it is 9 only fine now you come to the below part. So just what is the difference in the first two values? It is 3. Right? And here also if you take the difference, how much is the difference? It is 1. Right? Now what you do? You take the LCM of 1 and 3. What it will be? It will be 3. Now see here. I will just write it for your understanding. Okay? So LCM of okay, 9 and 3. Okay? So it is going to be 9. Okay? And here lcm of see basically what i am doing i am doing the lcm of okay difference what i am doing lcm of difference i am finding right so lcm of okay 3 and 1 3 and 1 it is come out to be 3 i hope you all have understood till here right now what you do this lcm you multiply it here okay so this lcm Okay, this LCM you multiply it here. Okay, you multiply it here. Okay, and this LCM, 
this LCM you multiply it here, okay, you multiply it here, okay, so you multiply it here, okay, you multiply it here. So I hope you all have understood till here, fine. So now just to see here what will be the solution for explanation it is going to take time but once when the things are perfect you will do it within 15 seconds okay see here so if you multiply this 3 here so 4 3s are will become 12 okay 4 3s are will become 12 so 13 3s are will become 39 okay and here it will become 30 I hope you all have understood till here Right, so now you multiply this 9 to this value. So 9 3 za will become 27. Okay, so 9 6 za will become 54. Okay, and 9 5 za will become 45. So I hope you all have understood till here. Very good. Now you say, now you take the difference. Okay, so now you take the difference. So how much is the difference? You just check it once. Okay, so if you check the difference here, so if you check the difference here, it is 15 years. It is the difference is 15 years. Okay, so it is 15. Here also if you take the difference, it is 15. Here also if you take the difference, it is 15. And in reality, the difference is how much it is 15. So directly what we understood here that one unit is equals to one year because 15 units is equal to 15 years. So one unit will become one year. So these itself are their ages. These itself are their ages. Okay. So five years ago, their ages were 12, 39 and 30. Okay. So now what we have to do, we have to find their age ratios okay after one year so after one year means what from the present age see from here to here it is five years right from here to here this is the present age okay and after present age one more year i have to add because he has asked me that the ratio of their ages after one year so present age from here is at five years only okay that means after one year one more year that means from here it is a six years journey Right. So, what you do for 12, you add 6. Okay. So, for every values, you add 6, 6 years. So, 12 plus 6. Okay. So, how much it will become? It will become 18. Okay. So, 39 plus 6, it will become 45. Okay. And here, 30 plus 6, how much it will become? It will become 36. So, what he has asked me? He has asked me the ratio. So, if you cancel it, so you can see 9 to the 18. 9 5s are 45 okay and 9 4s are 36 so 2 is to 5 is to 4 is the answer so 2 is to 5 is to 4 okay so 2 is to 5 is to 4 so this is our correct answer right so this is our correct answer so 2 is to 5 is to 4 so i hope you all have understood the problem right so these are the things these are the small things okay which matter a lot okay which are important for our exam point of view so these are the questions that i have wanted to discuss with you right so uh, take the screenshot of this and we will move to the one question i will give you it as a homework and you try this question okay as a homework and you have to tell me the answer in the comment box okay so Okay, so this is the question that you have to solve. Okay, so the current ages of okay S and M are in the ratio five is to three. Five years from now, okay, their ages will be ten is to seven. Okay, so what is the current age? मतलब present age of M. So you have to calculate this. Okay, so solve this question and tell me your answer in the comment box. Okay, so I hope you all have enjoyed the session. Okay, please share this video. Okay, with the with your friends those who are preparing for banking examinations okay and even this uh, type of questions are we have we have seen it in the ssc also in the state government also okay so you can share with those with those students those who are preparing for different examinations okay so subscribe our channel put a like button okay we will meet again with a new video thank you and have a nice day